Hello everyone, this is Shree. Welcome to the unboxing of Asus MemoPad FHD 10. The tablet is already available in the market and you can book online at Amazon.de for the price of 349 euros. Looking at the box, you have Asus MemoPad FHD picture on top. On back, you have the model number which is ME302C. On your right, you have the color variant. This one is uh, blue in color. So you can see and also available in pink as well as in white. And there is no specification mentioned on top of the box. Let's do the unboxing. Opening up the box, you have the tablet itself. Let's keep the tablet aside and uh, check out what's inside the box. As you can see, you have uh, a user manual. You have a warranty card. You have a USB 2 micro USB slot. Also can be used for uh, data transfer and power. And you have a power adapter. There you can see like the Asus logo. And this is uh, for the European variant. Uh, that's it from the box. Let's check out the tablet itself now. Wow, it's really slim and really handy and looks really lightweight. And you can see here, you have the specification mentioned on the top of the cover. It has a nicely covered plastic. So on top you have a few specifications, you can see. So you can see the resolution of 1920 by 1200. Uh, it's also mentioned the weight which is 580 grams and you have uh, it's a 9.5 millimeter slim and uh, Asus claims that uh, it has uh, 10 hours of battery and you have Asus made Sonic Master uh, speakers. Let's peel off this plastic. As you can see, this is uh, blue in color. I don't know whether you can see the really the color. It's dark blue. And uh, coming to the hardware specification, uh, it has a Intel Atom Z2560 dual core, which is 1.6 gigahertz processor, and it also has a 2 GB RAM. And uh, this one is a uh, 32 GB variant, also which is available in 16 GB. And it has a GPU of uh, Power VR SGX544. And uh, this is a 10.1 inch screen, which has the resolution of 1920 by 1200, which gives you 226 PPI. On top you have uh, a 1.2 megapixel camera, left you have the light sensors and on left you have the Asus logo. Coming to the build, so you have uh, on top you have a power button and a mic. On your uh, left you have a HDMI slot, you have a micro SD slot and this is a micro USB slot which can be used for data transfer as well as for uh, power charging and you have something here where you can do the reset of the tablet on your right you have a 3.5 mm uh, jack audio slot and you have the volume buttons 
On bottom, you have nothing. Coming to the back of the tablet, you can see it has a very nicely textured, rubberized plastic, so which is easy to hold the tablet and very like you have a really good grip on your hands. On top, you have a 5.5 megapixel camera, and you have a ASUS logo here. And on both the sides, you have the speakers here and one here. So, which is the Sonic Master. And left, you have the Intel logo as it runs uh, Intel Autumn Z2560. Let's power up the device. As you can see, I already did the uh, booting for you. So, the screen looks really amazing as it has a really high resolution of 1920 by 1200 which also gives like 226 ppi and uh, coming to the software part this device is running uh, Jellybean 4.2.2 as it's running 4.2.2 you can see it has uh, a lock screen widgets here so you can see here and you have the unlock icon here and uh, surprisingly we have uh, a new icon on below which is directly directs you to the Google now so let's unlock the device you can see the screen is really crisp and clear so really the high resolution And you can see also like I have already pre-installed few applications. Let's check the about device here. As you can see, it's running Android 4.2.2. And also in the storage, you can see the availability of 25.90. Though they say 32 GB, I'm not sure uh, it's giving only 25 GB uh, internal storage availability and only available 24 GB. It's coming back. So you have a uh, few uh, Asus applications which is already pre-installed. You can see like Asus Audio Wizard and if you go through the main applications you also can see many other applications pre-installed from Asus which is Asus Artist, Asus Splendid, Asus Story, Asus Studio, Asus To Do, etc. etc. I don't, I don't see any customized UI from Asus so this is more of uh, looks like Android UI. And you can see there is no lag, it's really smooth like it's very fast coming to the screen I think uh, you can add few screens also here so surprisingly we have some uh, thing called modes there are like different modes uh, you can see this Asus work entertainment new mode I think we can add up to seven modes Yeah, it's around seven main modes and in each mode so we can add up to seven screens as you can see here Let's check out the browsing experience here with this device. Let's go to the Chrome. I'll open up Amazon.de. As you can see, it loads up very quickly. 
So you can see, you can also experience really smooth browsing here. And about the pinch in and pinch out, it's there is no lag at all. And the pictures and the letters are really clear in this. Also play a video for you so that you have uh, get to know the video experience and for the sound experience. I'll go to YouTube. I've already a song for you. In the full volume. As you can see, you have a really great display and a good, really good resolution, and the, the speaker is really loud. And I can see. There is like two speakers here, which is made by Asus, which is, they call it Sonic Master. It's really loud. Let's pause it now. So, that's it from my side. This is a quick unboxing of uh, Asus MemoPad FHP 10. Uh, please stay tuned for uh, benchmarking, camera review and uh, gaming performance. I'll be coming back with uh, these uh, things soon. So please do comment below with your suggestions and questions. This is Shri. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.